This video is about the audio equipment I use to record my voice in my videos. I will unbox and review four products you can use together with your Mac, PC and even your iPad and iPhone. The Yeti microphone from Blue. The Radius, Yeti's official shock mount. The Rode PSA-1 Swivel Studio Boom Arm. And a generic pop filter. I've been using the Yeti for two years already and it's a wonderful microphone. Besides videos and voiceovers, I use the Yeti to record sound effects for our apps. I love the Yeti. Two years later and I still have its box. Inside you find a USB cable long enough to move the mic around, a small, nicely illustrated manual that it's worth reading, and the big Yeti USB condenser microphone. The immediate impression. It is big, it is heavy and well made. Inside its head, the Yeti has three capsules, allowing you to record in four different patterns. Stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid and bidirectional. The cardioid pattern is the most useful setting to me, best capturing sounds coming from the mic's face and ignoring much of what comes from the sides and the back. The closest you are to the microphone, the less gain you need and you have a less noisy, more detailed, rich recording. If you are far from the mic, you can increase the gain, but you will also amplify the noises around you and your voice loses a lot of bass and depth. When you start working with the Yeti, you quickly realize its beautiful bass is flawed. It picks every vibration from the table. The best remedy is to unscrew the bass a little bit and... Nope. You unscrew it all and put the base back in the box. I covered the holes with electrical tape to protect the internals from dirt. Free from its base, the Yeti is very light and you can get creative on ways to use it. I had lots of fun with studio foam. Of course, if you screw the Yeti directly on a mic stand, like a tripod, you might still face the vibration peaking problem, this time coming from the floor. The professional way to reduce vibrations is to use a shock mount. The Yeti's huge diameter makes it difficult to find a suitable generic shock mount. The official shock mount from Blue for the Yeti is the Radius. It is huge and beautiful. The shock mount is fixed to a tripod or boom arm, while the microphone is mechanically isolated in the middle, suspended by rubbers, reducing vibrations and handling noises. The Yeti should remain firm in the center of the radius and you can either use the Yeti upwards or hanging downwards. In the past, many reviewers complained about not being able to tighten the thumb screw hard enough to keep the Yeti steady from sliding down. Some even reported breaking the screw. Fortunately, that is changed. Blue has fixed the radius screw. The old plastic washer gave place to a new metal pair of pieces with teeth. Just be sure to align the cogs before tightening the screw and voila! The new radius really stays put and I'm so relieved I got the new model. The Rode PSA-1 is a swivel boom arm to attach your microphone to a table instead of using a tripod. The PSA-1 received very good reviews and I agree, it's a well-made product, easy to install and, once set, you can adjust the position of your microphone in seconds. It offers two options for desk mounting, a desk insert and a desk clamp, the recommended option to start since you can easily try different positions in your desk. It's all explained in a single sheet manual. Attention! The arm is kept folded with some good tension. Firmly hold both ends with one hand while removing the paper strip with the other. Otherwise, bad things can happen. After the clamp is fixed in place, you just slide the arm into the hole. The arm rotates freely. Attaching the shock mount to the arm is not difficult, but it took me some minutes to tweak the angles I wanted. Oh, the final aspect and flexibility are so great! Finally, there is the anti-pop filter. Blue sells a pop filter called the Pop, made of metal screen. I use a generic, cheap, pop filter whose screen is nylon, like a pantyhose. Without a pop filter, 
The microphone captures the unpleasant energy of explosive peas, bees and windy Vs. It also protects your microphone capsule against saliva corrosion. The Yeti is connected using a USB cable directly in your Mac or PC. But what about iOS devices? You can also use the Yeti with your iPad or iPhone. They have microphones too, but the sound quality is not the same. You will need an Apple's USB camera adapter available for lightning and 30-pin devices. It is sold as a way to import photos from USB cameras. It is also a great accessory for musicians, since you can plug MIDI keyboards, MIDI controllers and, you guessed, USB microphones to iOS devices. Unfortunately, when you plug the Yeti directly in the adapter, your iOS device will complain that the Yeti needs more power than it can supply. A powered USB hub in between makes it all work. But well, it's not sleek. Actually, this whole Yeti setup seems absurd if you need to be on the road. So, if you need a pro microphone for iPad or iPhone, I recommend the ones Blue made specifically for iOS. No need of adapters or external power. Check the links in the description. For me, working in my desktop, the Yeti is just perfect. Now with the arm, even better. Which microphone do you use? Do you have some advice or tips? Post your comments and questions. And if this video helped you, give it a like and share it. And subscribe for my next videos. See you around. Sound, sound. I love my Yeti microphone. No, they didn't pay me for this. I am such a fanboy.